Okay, dear friends, let's continue with this uh, uh, chat about how become the one who I am right now. So, uh, I went to France, I went to Paris because, uh, because of family thing. <laughs> okay, those... Uh, anyway, I became to for love, <laughs> for, for family thing. Uh, my family, uh, my, um, I went to France to have one year full-time student as, uh, as a language student. I did not speak a single thing, and I have learned, but I did not speak French. So I was, uh, in, uh, um, I was registered to sign up for La Sorbonne uh, language. Civilisation, la langue et civilisation, for one year time. And uh, so being a poor student, life is always a struggle. I used to be working in the, in the, in the business, in the import and export. Stu export. I was a businesswoman and uh, traveling, um, living in good hotel. Anyway, there's nothing about my own uh, richness. It's about uh, uh, the job require you and uh, work for a foreign company. So traveling and living in hotel and, uh, and also making quite some decent salary. So <clears throat> lived in not material, ma not material poor condition, material quite, quite, uh, quite okay condition at that time. In China it was not, not that bad, pretty good. And uh, came to France, I became a poor student, a full-time student. I do not have any single income. As everybody, I look for job. Right, uh, student look for for a part time job, and uh, so I started um, the part time job. I started to uh, to look for for job, look for job advertisement, and look for these and that, and uh, maybe because I'm lazy or whatever. And then there was one day, I found. In Fusak, there are people teaching English or teaching English, American students teaching English and, uh, and teaching French. And uh, then I, 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 in Paris, I, I went to a lot of activities, a lot of uh, some book signing. There are tons of activities, book signing, club, calligraphy club all these things. And then one friend, it's actually he's an American friend, he said, I write advertisement on um, FUSAC and I got student, I do private tutoring. So I was thinking, why not? I tried. So I started to try uh, to put an advertisement. At the beginning, there was nobody answer. And uh, after a couple of weeks, I wasn't serious enough to, to check again. I received one phone call, and uh, this phone call, I, I have my broken French, and that guy did not speak any English, so we broken up each other. I mean, we, 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 we broken to broken, fair enough, and we managed to see each other at uh, 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 Gare Saint Lazare to in a small coffee shop, small bar, to teach. He would like to learn Chinese, and uh, I teach Chinese. So at the end of one hour, I got, uh, I think, one hundred francs. It is, it was astronomical number for me. Usually, you get uh, twenty francs something work in a restaurant or something, and I got 100 francs for teaching a language. So I was very happy. So I started, and uh, it just keep rolling, and uh, I started to, 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 to teach. And then uh, one day I got two beautiful young ladies and uh, they are friends. They work in in they work in 
what's an, what is an English bookstore in Paris in near the Rue Rivoli? That English bookstore, a very big English bookstore. And they would like to learn Chinese. So I went to their house, uh, uh, an apartment, a typical Parisian apartment. So, and then they learned a couple of sentences and they say, can we learn Chinese calligraphy? Can I teach? They ask, can you teach me Chinese calligraphy? Can I? Is this a question? I was filled with joy. I can practice my calligraphy and I got paid. I was so happy. So starting from there, I started to, to start to teach. So, uh, so Paris, poor student in Paris, and uh, my first teaching or private tutoring experience was the seed of me to teach in other places. So I started to teach. It's uh, just uh, a couple of uh, uh, hours a week, but uh, we kept a few weeks. I forgot how many weeks, and then we found a job in America, and then I came to America. And uh, we came to America. First, I looked for a job because I do not have a working visa. I could not work. And, um, but I was thinking, if I could not work, why not me allowed to volunteer. So I was looking for opportunity to volunteer because volunteer, you are not taking away American people's job opportunity, right? I'm not getting paid. So I went to library to see if I can volunteer anything. And then there was a very kind gentleman and uh, he, he was a black man. And uh, in China at that time, I did not see a lot of uh, uh, people of uh, of different races, and he was so kind and really very kind. He was in charge of San Jose, um, a library volunteer job, a coordinator, and. Uh, and he, he even managed a meeting to see the volunteer to evaluate what can be, what can these people do. Usually you see people, volunteer people go to uh, manage the books and something. And then I think, I, I told him, maybe I can do something other than manage the, the book uh, so that I can use my ability a little bit better. And... Um, for example, I can teach calligraphy. He was very happy, and uh, he allowed me the, the opportunity to, uh, to manage uh, teaching calligraphy. And uh, finally, I have done something, but the, the calligraphy class never, never started. And uh, he changed the job or something. But starting from there, I found if I do not have working visa. It does not take away my ability of doing things. I can take classes. I can sign up for classes. I think I can sign up for classes. I forgot. Anyway, I didn't do anything illegal. Just uh, you make sure you be careful not to do anything, uh, um, not anything wrong because you want to stay in that place. So I started by, um, by volunteering, and uh, later on we got our working visa. Uh, uh, working visa, I think I first got our green card, yes. Later on I got my green card, and the first thing is looking for opportunity to teach. So I start to make advertisement uh, everywhere to, to, to teach calligraphy. And um, first I was teaching in private. And uh, there was one time uh, I signed up and also I want to learn. I signed up for community college. Uh, community college and, uh, and after school uh, learning. So I signed up to learn uh, graphic design, 
a computer, and、uh, the the teacher told us, "You can become a tutor if you have something that you are good at. Talk with who, 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 Linda. Talk with whom? Then you can teach." So starting from there, I started. Why not? I teach in community college. I can teach calligraphy. So starting from there, I I started to teach, because teaching co- a community college, once you have the ability, once you have the knowledge or the skill, you can teach, and it does not require a teaching credential. The difference is that if you get a teaching credential, you get. Better paid, and you get to teach some special, for example, senior class or something. And、um, if you do not have teaching credential, you can still teach, teach in community college, and um, and uh, just get、uh, a few dollars less paid. So I started to teach calligraphy class, teach painting class. And、uh, what I think is,、uh, teaching is the best way of learning, same as learning is the best way of teaching.、Uh, it's、um, it's 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 like two things、uh, helping each other. So I started to teach in community college, and at the same time, I started to to. Acquire to to obtain my teaching credential, and finally I got my teaching credential、uh, for multiple subjects,、uh, for for things. So that's where I get started, and、uh, art was not my deliberate choice. It's art choosing me. It's pe- teaching, and it's these things choose me. Uh, I was down when the time I was very very sad. It is painting and calligraphy survived me, saved my life, and、uh, I own painting, teaching. I own art a lot. It's art that saved me, and、uh, it's not my choice. It's art choose me. So. Uh, so it just once you get into one field, you become, you be it circulates and it、uh, it like snowball. You grow, grow and into different area. So I, so this brings me to today's、uh, today's situation: teaching art and teaching different things. And、uh, I learned a lot through this. These many years of、uh, of teaching, of learning, of this experience. So, art skill was not a natural thing. It was a learned, acquired ability. And I still think I'm not.、Uh, I was not born. I, I definitely was not born to be so good. I know some people are born with born to be. Artist. There are some people that just so gifted, so tremendously gifted. I have seen my students so gifted. I have seen adults, other people so gifted. And education, I and I do not believe in education in the sense that people. Some people I have seen a lot of wonderful, wonderful artists. They have never been to art school. Just they can do wonderful, beautiful painting, very, very good. So,、um, so art is not a natural thing for me. I still struggle. I just cannot.、Uh, I cannot reach to that stage that makes myself satisfied. And、uh, I think this is kind of.、Uh, uh, There is an advantage of it because I'm not that good, so I always enjoy improving. If I'm already on the top, there is no way you can improve, right? Once you are on the top of it, so I was always not on top, so I always feel the desire, the drive to to improve myself. 
Okay, the third question. The third question. What is your favorite lesson plan when it comes to teach your student? The favorite lesson plan. Uh, lesson plan. Once you know something and you try it out, it always uh, works out well. I have a favorite lesson plan in Chinese painting, painting bamboo, because I have done it so many times. And I know how to dismantle. Once they make a mistake, I know where is the mistake, and I know how to correct this mistake. And uh, and I'm so 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 comfortable with it. So, teaching Chinese painting calligraphy, teaching Chinese painting bamboo is one of my.